Hello, this is Marco Volk from www.houseinvestigations.com. That's www.houseinvestigations.com. Those aerosol sprays, liquids, solids, gels, and plug in the wall air fresheners all emit a continuous scent. Most of these products release chemical particulate in your home's air that you will eventually breathe. Now your lungs become the house filter to filter out this scent. Air pollution is defined as a modification of natural characteristics of the atmosphere by chemical particulate. Particulates are also referred to as partic particulate matter aerosols or fine particles. These are tiny particles of solid or liquid suspended in the air. These particles plate out and get stuck in your home's walls, floors, ductwork, ceilings, and finally in your mouth, throat, and lungs. This is what I call indoor air house pollution. I perform residential forensic investigations on a weekly basis. In a more recent case study, my clients were complaining about their two very young children that had upper respiratory problems and had been sick ever since they moved into their new home. When my clients opened the door to greet me, that instant I was hit by an airwave of fragrant odors. I stepped into the door only to see three outlet type air fresheners in view. As I walked throughout the home performing my investigative diagnostics, I found seven more outlet type plug-in air fresheners. I felt bad taking these people's money. When I left his home, my tongue tasted like an air freshener. I told my clients to remove the air fresheners and call me back in three weeks. They never called back because they no longer needed me. Four months ago, they moved from a big leaky old home that had many air exchanges. There were two big dogs staying in the big basement. This old home did not have a dog odor because it was big, old, had hardwood floors, was very leaky, it had many air exchanges. The new home was small, tight carpeted, and had hardly any air exchanges, and the dogs stayed on the first floor because the basement was too small. The new home smelled like dog. This is why they used the air fresheners. If your home smells like a dog, get rid of the dog odor. Do not introduce a chemical camouflage odor. A solution may be get rid of the carpets, cloth furniture, cloth window treatments. Lower the home's humidity. Build an exterior heated or cooled doghouse. And buy a HEPA vacuum cleaner with a HEPA filter. HEPA means high efficient particle particulate air. This cleans the floating odoriferous particulate in the air. I did not say an ionizer, UV light, ozone machine, or some other contraption that you can buy on late night TV. I'd probably need a whole five minute video just on these contraptions. Phthalates are found in many air fresheners. These are chemicals that can cause hormonal abnormalities, birth defects, and reproductive problems. Some companies have started to pull products containing high amounts of phthalates off store shelves. Even air fresheners marketed as all natural or unscented can contain many hazardous materials. Along with phthalates, many air fresheners contain allergens, volatile organic compounds, as well as cancer causing chemicals such as benzene and formaldehyde. This is certainly one of man's most stupid inventions. If you have odors, try to find the source and remove it. Maybe you'll need to get rid of the house animals. One of my clients wanted me to test his home for mold because everybody was sick. The home had four dogs, three cats, one bird, one guinea pig, one large snake, fish tank with fish, and one tarantula. Additionally, the home was downstream of a fast food franchise. Oh, and I forgot, the home had eight plug-in air fresheners. The odor in this home smelled like a chemical pine evergreen with a pinch of dog skin saliva and a small kick of cat urine with a trace of McDonald's french fries. Farms are for animals, houses are for people, and don't buy a home that's downstream from localized polluting and mini commercial establishment. There are safer alternatives to house odors. Clean with vinegar and water solution. Get rid of cloth, drapes, furniture, and carpets. Miss the solution made from water and items like lavender of lemons. Use a cup of baking soda in problem areas such as a refrigerator or trash cabinet. Make your own potpourri with dried flowers and fruits. Grind up a half a lemon in a garbage disposal. Open a window to air out the room. Bake some cookies or bread. Okay, I know some of you are wondering if the rumors are true that air fresheners can start fires and burn houses down.
There is there is information on the internet that may or may not support this. I know one thing, that plastic melts and burns and most air fresheners are made of plastic. However, so is everything else. And it is possible that if you leave an air freshener dry out and leave it in an outlet for a long period of time, it may get hot. I know one thing, if your house burns down, you surely won't find a little plastic air freshener to perform your forensic testing to prove or disprove this theory, because the evidence will be gone. The bottom line, air fresheners are contamination that poisons our homes and bodies. The solution to pollution is certainly not dilution. I certainly do not support this $2 billion industry. Thank you. This is Marco Volk from www.houseinvestigations.com. Please visit my website for more house information. Thank you and have a nice day.